Hello and welcome to Light of Love podcast with Tamara Palmer, medium, coach, healer, and author. I feel like it's been a minute. I feel like it's been a hot minute, a minute of life, a minute of lessons, a minute of little tiny minutes, little tiny moments. And I thought, why don't I tell the truth? Why don't I speak my truth? So that's what I'm going to do today. It's going to be raw, but it's my truth and it's my story to tell. So I hope whoever's hearing this, that maybe this will inspire you or help you on your own journey of discovery. I felt like it was time to explain some stuff to everyone as well. Apologize to anyone who has been triggered or offended by any of my behavior leading up to this point. So get comfortable and listen or scroll on. The choice is yours. The choice is always yours. We have free will. And now it's your free will to decide what you're going to do. If you're sticking with me. I hope you will enjoy this. And if you carry on, I love you and let you go. So these last few months have been, and let's be truthful, honest, and authentic right now. These past two years have been a whole lot of huge life-changing lessons of many moments of growth and failures, but nonetheless, a lot of changes towards a life of happiness. I've been feeling so stuck in my lessons of life and death that I was forgetting to actually do what I'm supposed to do, which is live. I was suddenly finding myself in a place of fear of stepping into and embracing this life. You see, my whole life, I have ran. I have either ran into the storm and tried my best to run away from the storm and have actually run away from actually being loved or allowing love to come into my life. Throughout my life, I have had and have some mental health issues, such as not limited to eating disorders, abandonment issues, childhood post-traumatic stress disorder, I've struggled with anxiety, mood disorder, and panic attacks, as well as with energy levels that can go from zero to 100 in 0.3 seconds. And that's not a joke. I have always struggled with counselors out of my fear that they won't understand my level of empathy or psychic abilities and my connection to spirit. I've always tried to be perfect so that people would accept me. That's the imposter syndrome or the people pleaser in me. I'm sharing this not for sympathy, but for awareness on the importance of talking and engaging in the understanding of the many modalities of mental health and how we need to stop being silent and start engaging to help someone, not hinder someone's journey. I'm me. I'm unique. I'm not meant for everybody and that's okay. I, like you, I'm an energetic being here having a human's experience to grow, to learn, to laugh and love as we all are. So on April 8th of 2023, I finally spoke up to my family doctor about everything I was thinking, feeling, or saying out loud, no longer quietly just going on in my head. Instead of coming at me with big words that I know I would not have understood, he came at me instead with compassion and caring and respect and treated me like I'm not crazy. For the first time in my 47 years of life, I felt heard and understood to the point where right away we sat and together came up with a plan to help and heal that deep hurt and begin to unpack the enormous suitcases of baggage that I've been carrying around since I was a child and release the pain and hurt associated with grief, 32 government foster homes, group homes, and jails as well as working towards the goal to be able to continue to work in my gifts. 
I now journal daily. I'm on a prescribed medication to help with my anxiety, my depression, and my panic attacks to help balance and restore my energy levels to live a happier, healthier lifestyle for my mind, my body, and soul. It's amazing how when we start to work on how God, the universe, angels, guides, and or loved ones help to bring people into our life to help us see the truth to help us see our abilities and how to really start loving ourselves and stop worrying about the thoughts and feelings that others have of us. This is my life. This is my story. And this is my time to live, to laugh, and to love. So in conclusion, the lesson in all of this is to never be afraid to ask for outside help in order to help your insides heal. The old me is healing. The present me is beginning to live in the here and now, and the future me is awaiting the next steps. To every person that has stood by me, thank you. To every person that walked away from me, thank you. Like, honestly, thank you for opening the door to possibilities. Every single person, place, or living thing that enters my life, thank you for believing in me when I struggled at times to believe in myself. But most importantly, thank you, God. Thank you, angels, guides, the universe, and all of my loved ones on the other side. Thank you for everything you have tried to teach me or are teaching me. It is one day at a time that I am slowly stepping into the highest, purest person I am to be. And I encourage you to do the same. I encourage you if you're struggling, to seek out help, to stop being afraid of speaking up, to stop allowing that silence to hold you down, almost like drowning you. I send you all love. Remember that this is our story, our journey to live, to laugh, to love. And remember everything is possible if you just start to believe. I hope this reaches those that it is meant to, and I hope you enjoy living your best life. And remember, it's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to even ask for help along your journey. Love and light.